Honey is the Australian Humanities Network infrastructure. It combines 31 different sources of Australian cultural data with nearly 18 million entities in total. It was officially launched in October 2014 and is openly available with logins via social media and university authentication services. Here's a selection of the different data sources. Auslit, Circus Oz, Design and Art Australia Online, Cyclopedia of Melbourne, Mura, and Find and Connect. They are all very different in their coverage, structure, functionality, and audiences. Many researchers work across the different data sets, e.g. for literature, media, art, and biography related to a particular person. The Honey data model contains six core entity types, concept, event, organisation, person, place and work. You can start by searching or browsing. The results can be filtered by category or by data provider. You can explore the data record or see the original source record. Honey users can construct links between entities. Some are automatically derived from links in source datasets. Others are created by Honey users. You can use your own terminology to describe the relationships between entities. A Honey collection is a group of records assembled by Honey users. They can use their own title and description for a collection. Users are also able to add notes, metadata, to their collections and can make them either private or public. The graph query feature enables you to find all nodes which are reachable from a specific node or entity. You can also find the shortest path between two specific nodes or entities. Data relating to a user's collection can be downloaded as a CSV file for reuse. How then does Honey figure as a form of critical infrastructure or offer an infrastructural intervention? To understand Honey in these terms is to acknowledge the ways that Honey was a humanities response to digital information infrastructure and an exercise in values-led design. To understand infrastructure in this context is to understand infrastructure as enabling the conditions for the possibility of connection. And connection for the humanities is not always understood in logical terms. Non-logical connection, for example, serendipity, is incredibly important. So in reflecting on both the value of the humanities, but also on the values held by the humanities, we were led to design Honey in relation to some quite specific things. The idea of coexistence, the value of complexity and contingency, the importance of collaboration, and in particular, the importance of contestation, so that interpretation becomes very important to the way we drive towards knowledge in the humanities. And this idea of data being implicit and imbricated in the way we form our connections. Uh, it doesn't stand outside our thinking. If data doesn't just describe connections or relationships, but is part of the ways in which we understand what a relationship is and can be, then Honey really emphasizes this idea that the users of infrastructure, information infrastructure, should also have an opportunity to think 
innovatively and originally about the relationships between data elements, but also about how those relationships act as part of a system. And one theorist, I think, who's really encapsulated a lot of this thinking is Arturo Escobar, who has been very helpful in trying to think through these ideas about how we multiply our worlds and attempt at all sorts of levels to live as variously as possible. And I've always really enjoyed this book, Designs for the Pluriverse, where he talks about interdependence, autonomy, and the making of worlds. And if we think about how in establishing our data infrastructure, we are also in a sense creating the conditions for a way of being, that we're imagining and constructing the possibilities for connection, then these sorts of ideas that Escobar is thinking through are quite useful. The pluriverse for Escobar is a place where we foster the coexistence of multiple worlds, and he uses the metaphor of a mangrove as a sort of entangled, interdependent, related set of practices that go to make up a very complex ecology. This is a conception of the world where many worlds interact, many social worlds, natural worlds, imaginative worlds, technological worlds, and where the occupants of those worlds do seek to live variously with and within difference. Simply proposing one way to imagine the world eliminates possibility, and we effectively defuture the world for so many people and other beings if we imagine it to be lived only one way. I feel like Escobar is speaking to many of the themes that we tried to pursue in building Honey. The fact that for us, interoperability as a technical system was also always about our foundational recognition of the intersectionality of being. Honey is about how we accommodate the implications of multiple overlapping and elastic worlds of difference and the differences within difference. It really, I think, puts the infra into infrastructure uh, in the sense that infra is that which comes from beneath. So this is infrastructure from below in a way. And on that evocation and provocation, I might leave it there. Um, there's quite a lot to digest in this last slide. So I'll just leave you to read it. <laughs>